started running around with the ball from him being very tiny. Um, he was walking when he was nine months old and probably as soon as he started walking he was playing with a little ball. When he was five he was spotted by somebody from Bolton Wanderers and it progressed to when he was seven Liverpool and Manchester United came in and then he was alternating between the academies. I used to live at home with my mum, it was just me and her and she was always very busy working and I was a really independent person. I'd get on a bus to school, afterwards I'd take a train which was right across the street uh, into Manchester which is where my mum worked. I'd wander around Manchester, find myself some food and then go to her office to change before training and then she'd take me there and we'd get back home at like 10 o'clock and we did that four times a week. I think it's part of our culture in England, you know, every kid grows up playing football and whether you're good at it or you're not, you still enjoy, you know, being around it and it's the good ones that you progress on and um, see how far they can get. So in, in the academy, I mean, every kid's dream was to make it to the first team and, you know, to play at Old Trafford and then that's all we ever thought about, we never really thought about anything else. Obviously it's a great opportunity and what they teach them and the foundation that it gives them is fantastic but there are a lot of boys there the group started off as there are 22 or thereabouts in a group to start off with and so I looked at it in the sense that you're a number and you are a number of hundreds of boys that go through these academies and so the way I dealt with it was just to take it with a pinch of salt. I'd researched about what you could achieve academically in America with sport or athleticism. I was trying to explain to him that just because you're in an academy, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go on and play football professionally or that um, it can lead to anything at all. I took him to look at the photographs in the gallery, a wall just filled with all the different age groups and we went through each one and I said, do you recognise anybody off that team? If you look at all those boys that come through, where are they? And that was what I was trying to explain to Jack, that just because you're here doesn't necessarily mean you're going to follow it through. I tried to look at a balance as well, and one of the things that I'd researched was that soccer here was on the up and increase and you could see the growth of, of football in the States. And I had this conversation with Jack and I said, you know, there's opportunities there where football's gonna grow and it's America. And if you stand a chance of playing professionally, then that might be a place where you can do it. When she first introduced the idea to me, I was you know, really apprehensive about it. I didn't wanna leave the academy because I, I still wanted to make it professional. And she helped me to kind of have an open mind about things. And I started to think about it a little more. I started to look on the website and stuff. And as soon as I stepped on campus, I just, I loved it there. And I knew that was gonna be the right place for me. He told me his story, like how he was looking at Berkshire and one other school and the fact that he just chose Berkshire and then to see where it's, it has led him from there, it's just incredible. I didn't really think about, you know, the move too much. I was more excited to see the opportunities that would come out of, you know, being at this place. And I was just more excited to explore the different, different possibilities. Regarding the player who was involved in the trade between Chicago and NYC FC, that player is the number one pick in this year's draft, Jack Harrison. Jack, welcome to New York City. I don't think it was until quite a bit after you know we got drafted and everything happened. I kind of took a step back and looked at you know the whole the whole path that I'd taken and just incredible, really. I'm just so grateful for all the opportunities that I've had throughout that throughout that time. This is the beginning and it's, he's got a lot of work to do and I think that's the way we're looking at this and yeah, it's an unbelievable start. Harrison taking on a young go, a little twist of the turn, he's by him, Jack Harrison! That was fantastic! The boy wonder for City! Trying to play it across to Harrison, good bulldog work by Harrison, two on none, Harrison and Villa, Harrison pushing it ahead, they'll try and cut wide, lays back for Villa, and it's 2-0! wondered what would have happened if I'd have stayed at the academy. If you'd asked me that a couple, couple years ago, I, w I would have said, 
maybe like I, I would have liked to stay in the academy and just see what happened but I think as you're asking me that question now I'd say I have no regrets this has been the best move of my life